What can we expect from Dasmarinas in the roar of Singapore 5 this coming September 29? Well, let's welcome Michael. Gloves on fire. I've always wanted to say that. Gloves on fire, Dasmarinas. And we still have, of course, with us, sports desk boxing analyst, Mike Ochoza. Mike, kailangan may pangalan ka rin eh. <laughs> diba? Kung siya may gloves of fire, kailangan ikaw rin. You just ano? put me on the spot. No? <laughs> just, Not today. <laughs> Mag-iisip muna tayo. So, Michael, kumusta ka naman? Uh, okay naman po. Good morning po. Good morning and how are you? Kailan ka, ano, nakabalik from Japan? You were training in Japan for a Opo, while? Opo. Um, three weeks po ako nag-sparring uh, doon sa IVF, sa Perbantamit World Champion po. Uh, umuwi po ako August 8th. Okay, kumusta naman yung uh, training mo sa Japan? Uh, so far, maganda naman po yung, um, yung insayo ko doon, tapos yung experience ko sa pakikipag-sparring ko sa world champion po. Okay, so uh, do you think that it's ano, parang nakakabuti sa'yo para mag mag-training sa Japan kesa sa, let's say, maybe here in the Philippines? Um, Oh, po, nakaka, ano po, kasi yung, kumbaga, yung mga guys pa rin ko po doon ay magagaling po talaga. Okay. Tapos, world class po na, tapos yung training po, tapos yung sinasabi nilang, ano, yung climate doon po, maganda. Okay. So, ngayon naman, are, how do you feel with your upcoming match? Uh, ayun po. Are you uh, nervous? You'll be fighting, um, syempre, an undefeated boxer. Ah, uh, Ngayon po, napipil ko, ah. excited po ako ngayon na lumaban kasi ilang months na rin after nung lumaban pa ako last April na nakuha ko po yung title ko. Ah, ngayon excited ako kasi yung mga kalabang ko, yung undefeated, ka parang ano po ako, yung excited ako na parang gigil ako ng manalo ulit. <laughs> oh, ng parang gusto parang... mo ngayon, ngayon na mag magkipag-boxing uh, ka na, di ba? Opo, kasi yung kalabang ko ngayon, eh, magaling po kasi... Uh, Sa 17 win po, uh, 15 yung na-KO niya. Eh. Pareho po kami, uh, kumbaga, heavy hitter po. And, and I think also they're quite similar. Both of them are undefeated. I, I mean, in so many, like, you know, yeah, well, and, has, and undefeated wins. Yeah, uh, continuously meron siyang oh. streak, no? Oh. But, uh, he has two losses. But yung similarity nila, they both go for the knockout. Okay. Which uh, makes this fight very interesting. No? Although it's a non-title fight, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the promoter, Ringstar, uh, you know, brought in a formidable opponent, even if it's not a, you know, even if it's not a title fight. So he really, I think, uh, while talking to Mike, uh, his preparation is really at top, top level. How, how would you go, um, okay, I have two mics on set, no? So isang Mike and isang Michael, or gloves na lang, Mr. Gloves. <laughs> how would you, ano ba yung mga strategies mo para um, to go against Manio? Uh, yung strategy po namin, um, Kasi nakikita ko po yung mga laro nung makakalaban yung ngayon. Um, siguro, ano ko po yung distance ko sa kanya. Tapos, siyempre, yung kasi yung makamay din yung makakalaban ko po ngayon. Kaya, yung iniisip ko pa, side to side movement po. Kasi, ano po kami, south po, orthodox po kami. Kaya, yun po. Okay, what, do Mike, do you see any advantages or, or what, what do you think well, about yeah, this uh, upcoming see, fight? That... What, what Mike says, I agree, no? Kung gagawin nila yan against Manyo, against Manyo. I've seen also the tapes. Ma, pag sinabi niya makamay, masipag. He, he throws a lot of punches itong si Manyo. Uh, but he is a right-handed fighter, orthodox, yes. na, with the stance. So, he's southpaw. He's a southpaw, uh, yeah. Like Manny, no? So, mm -hmm. he has an advantage because he will always be able to throw that left hand as a lead. Uh, normally, the disadvantage of right-handed fighters is that they can only spar with left-handed fighters so much. Mahirap maghanap ng kaliwete to spar with. No? Eh, siya lamang siya. It's, it's easy to find a right-handed fighter. So that's one advantage. And Mike uh, also has uh, mastered the body shot. No, meron siyang mga patamang sa katawan. No? Okay. Well, I mean, just clearly in his last match yeah. with a uh, knockout, diba? in the in the fourth round only. So, parang it's interesting this match also. Before I allow you to invite our our televiewers to watch the upcoming fight, um, parang si si Michael Dasmarinas papunta palang or kararating lang. Tapos yung kalaban mo naman, parang he's trying so hard to stay to stay alive because a lot of people were saying that parang tapos na siya. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Was, would age or also be a, an advantage kay kay Michael para sa um, para sa akin yung ano kasi yung age naman po um, it's just a number. 
Ang ganon, ang very pero importante po lang sa boxing is mag-training ka po talaga na maayos. Course. Okay, so that will always be the underlying. Okay, right. so messages please to our Filipino para sa mga fans mo, Mike. Uh, Let's go! Uh, Unang-una po sa lahat, gusto ko lang pong pasalamatan yung ring star sa dahil naniwala sila sa akin at sa promoter ko po kay Sir Scott Parel. Uh, nagtiwala. Tapos sa uh, sponsor ko po sa Cobra Energy Drink po. Tunay na lakas po. Yun. Tapos uh, mga kababayan ko po sa Singapore, uh, ini-invite ko pa ko yan naman na September 29, Roar of Singapore 5. Uh, supportan po natin mga Pinoy fighter po. It will be at the Marina Bay Sands. Yeah. So yung mga nasa Singapore na no, mga mga kababayan, they can come. And it will be aired here. Yes. Actually, if I can mention the channel, okay lang. <laughs> on ESPN5. Okay, so I'm sure, I'm sure that we're going to have you back here to help us uh, analyze as uh, Michael takes on this fight. Maraming salamat. Uh, again, we had Michael Gloves on Fire, Das Marinas, and of course, our sports desk boxing analyst, Michael Chosa.